Hi there, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm I'm not going to keep you guessing. We're going to make a reed diffuser, which is what we're going to use this mould for, which you may have seen us do in previous uh, in a previous video. If you have looked through our playlists on our how to make, you'll see them. Um, and this new mould in Wayne's left hand, which we've never used before, is actually for a soap or hand lotion dispenser. So exciting. Um, right, so these are the two different lids, if you like, or top parts of the mould. And these are the um, the inks or the resin inks that um, Wayne is going to use to colour the mould. So as you've already seen from the thumbnail, we're going with a beach or a seascape and beach theme to these. And we're going to try and achieve this by having three layers of resin something we haven't done before in any of our videos so hopefully <laughs> this works this works oh excuse me this works out so there we go There's some clear clear just ordinary clear resin there last of the j diction resin we're using for this project one to one mixing ratio and as always like i say you need to keep safety first where a respirator mask, wear gloves and keep your room that you're working in well ventilated Ventilated when using resin. Another good tip is to buy the arm protectors which is the plastic or protectors that also protect your arms and your sleeves and of course if you want to wear an apron too. So there we go. So Wayne's just adding in the different inks. They were just slightly different shades, just wanted to see uh, whether or not they would be enough to produce the colour of the that he wanted for the first of the layers that he's going to use it for. So we are. So decided not. It wasn't intense enough, but it's. I mean, it's clear, clear like glass. So fingers crossed. That is what he wants uh, for these two projects, for these two pieces um, of work. And I have to say, even though it looked like he was stirring very quickly, this has been sped up. Um, so stir slowly and you won't introduce so many bubbles. If you find there's bubbles, just leave it a couple of minutes, let the bubbles degas on their own and then use the resin. So decided in the end that it wasn't quite deep enough blue for the first layer. So use went to a different brand and uh, put some of that in as well. Um, he's also going to add in a little bit of the white that you can see there just to see if it does anything, if it makes any difference. I don't think personally it made very much of a difference but um, Wayne was happy to do it just as a little experiment really to see what, see what it was like. So here we go, he's just carefully pouring this first layer uh, into the lid part of the reed diffuser. So just going very carefully there and as I said before everything that we use in the video will be linked in the description box just down below. So there we are. He's now going to take a micro brush which are available from Amazon or Timu or Sheen, Alibaba and all of those sorts of places online. Um, now this micro brush as you can see doesn't actually have the little brush thing on the end of it. It's just got a very fine piece of plastic um, just go careful when you're using it in your moulds that you don't scratch or scrape your moulds. And all he's doing is just running it there underneath the surface, just underneath the rim of the uh, lid part. And it's just to try and discourage any air bubbles from hiding in there up against the sides of the mould. Although I will say, spoiler alert, when he demoulded that one, there were some air bubbles. So we're going to correct those. Uh, before we put this one, this uh, that particular one out for sale. So this second one, this is the lid for the soap or hand lotion dispenser. And again, same thing, poured it in very carefully and then just using the micro brush without the brush, <laughs> the micro stick maybe, um, just around the edges of the mould just to dis discourage any little bubbles from sticking to the sides of the mould. There we go. I think he's found a little something something and the resin there. So he's, oh no, look at the size of that bubble. So he's just managed to tease that one out. Right, so this is the um, reed diffuser mould. 
and he's pouring in. This is the same resin as he's used for the two lids. He's just pouring in the first layer. There you are. So the idea is, is or our interpretation of this is that this is the sky going into the sea and then the second layer will be more of the sea but coming in closer to you so it's darker and then the seashells and the sand. Right, so this is the second mould. Now this is the mould for the hand lotion or soap dispenser. I love the look of the inside of this mould and the, we've never used it before. This is brand new, this mould to us. Um, so not too sure how it was going to turn out, how it was going to come out. Was it going to look all right with the theme that we were going for and the effect that we were doing? Um, but hopefully you'll agree with us. Um, yeah, put a comment in our comments if you do and you think that they both look stunning or if you think we could have done anything differently or an alternative way of doing this, then please feel free to yeah share your tips and tricks. So this is the following day. Now the first layer of resin had set up quite, it was firm enough, it wasn't completely cured, but it was firm enough for Wayne to mix up another batch of resin. Again, it's J-Diction, one-to-one -one mixing ratio, and then he's adding in that final alcohol ink. He's just adding in more of it, so it gives a more intense colour. Again, it's almost crystal clear. It's just more of an intense colour. Beautiful, beautiful colour, that is. So this is not going to go into the tops of the moulds because those are full. It's going to go in... This is now going to be the second layer of resin in the two pot parts of these moulds. So again, this is the reed diffuser, so this is the second layer. Now, those of you eagle-eyed of you would have spotted when he was first showing you the moulds that there were some pen marks on the side. So that was just for ease of use, so that he knew where he wanted to fill up to the first layer and fill up to the second layer. So here we are with the second one. So this is the hand and soap lotion dispenser one just filling it up there now of course you don't have to add in shells you don't have to do three different colors of resin you don't have to add in a sand layer you can just do it all one color whatever color you like whatever you feel happy doing so now he's showing you a nice little red pot full well not completely full but it's got a mixture of mini conch shells and some mini i believe they called them flat round shells but, you know, we, we got these, I think these were from Timu, but and it will be linked in the description box. Also in there, I don't know if you've spotted any yet, you'll see some little bits of blue, maybe some little bits of silver. And they are power shell pieces, so P-A-U-A -A shell pieces. And Wayne's just sprinkled some on the top. Now, because the shells are very light, they don't, they weigh next to nothing. And the resin is medium viscosity, so a medium thickness. Some of them stay on the surface of the resin and some of them do actually sink a bit into it, which was fine because that's exactly the look he wanted. He's just poking a few of them down underneath. I mean, like I said, you don't have to add shells if you don't want to. You could wait for the second layer to completely cure, then add some shells in clear resin and then add your sand if you wanted to do it that way totally up to you but as I say we've never done this before so this is very much a learning curve for us as well so there we go he's just putting this now into the reed diffuser mold yeah so putting a decent amount because he was aware of the fact that some of them would sink and some of them would stay on the top and I think actually he adds a few more to this one yeah there we go, it's going to add a few more of those to it. Just mixing them up. So one bag has got the flat round shells, the other one's got the little, little, mini, mini conch shells. They're beautiful, these shells. Would look very nice in a tray or a trinket dish as well, or coasters even. So this is the third and final layer. I've made a custom pigment for him there for resin. Uh, now we weren't sure how this was going to mix in with the resin, if it would be okay or not. So he's poured a small amount of it into a silicon mixing jug there, or measuring jug, and then he's going to add some of this uh, resin. Now this resin is clear, it's just got the millions of little bubbles in it, but 
Because this is for the sand layer, we weren't too worried about little bubbles. So now he's going to mix this in just to check that he's happy with it. And then when he was happy, he added the remainder of the pigment and the rest of the resin. So this custom um, pigment is made using, and I think he's going to show you in a moment, some ivory uh, acrylic paint, which is from the range, um, and uh, a couple of different glitters, which are also from the range. There we are, alcohol. Uh, sorry, acrylic paint, ivory, uh, some Arteza mica powder and two different glitters, which were also from the range. And that gives it a little bit of a, almost like a grainy sand texture with a little bit of sparkle, which was, we thought was, uh, you know, what we wanted, just what we liked. It's also got a tiny bit of water mixed in with it because otherwise it was like a very, very, very thick paste. So there we go. He's going to pour the pigment in, the lovely, it looks like melted toffee or butterscotch to me, caramelly sort of colour. Um, yeah, there we go. Any leftover resin that he's had from any of the different stages and levels of re layers of resin that he's poured have been poured into separate moulds, little moulds for us to make things in. Uh, for the future, future projects and things. So nothing ever goes to waste, trust us. So there we go, he's just gonna stir this up. Take care when you're stirring resin. You know, um, as I think I've said before, make sure that you wear gloves, um, that you work in a well-ventilated room. Oh, good Lord, that went in and out again. Um, and that you wear the respirator mask. There we go, obviously take the, the the appropriate precautions to protect yourself. There we go. Now that bit sped, sped up. He doesn't normally mix it that quite that quickly. I don't know if you can see that off the spoot off the uh, stir stick there, but little little glints of the glitter, tiny little sparkles. So there we are. And this is, as you can see there, this is, so that second layer has has completely cured. And now he's pouring in the final layer into both of the pots. There we go. And he stops there for some reason. Decides he's gonna move it out of shot. I don't know why. Um, there we go, you see. Brings in the other one and then decides to move that one back again. Hmm, okay. Um, obviously something on his mind. Uh, so he, pre he proceeds then to fill the rest of the mould up. With that beautiful third layer and the, with the gold glitter in it. Just gives it that little something something, I think. But then I'm biased because I actually made the pigment for him. <laughs> there we go. So just carefully filling up the mould to the top. And then what he did is once they were completely full, yes, he had resin left over, so he poured them into a the bookmark moulds that we've got, that if you've seen our previous video, you would have seen us and how we make those. And he added in some shells and some power shells. So we've got three lovely little sand effect bookmarks, uh, a little uh, heart-shaped key ring and a lovely little teddy, because it was amazing actually how much resin he did have left. So this was then another 24 hours later, long project this one. So he's already demolded the reed diffuser lid, uh, which as I said before, we had a few, we've got a few little air bubbles that we've got to deal with. Um, and this is the lid of, that was the lid of the, uh, there we are. That was the first one was the lid to the soap dispenser. So I don't know if you saw then on the points of that one, there was some little touch-ups that we need to do but it'll be fine they'll be they won't be noticeable they'll be hidden so this is demolding oh look at that this is demolding the reed diffuser oh looks like a lump of caramel <laughs> lump of toffee lump of toffee yum so there we are and here we go look at that i mean that's beautiful so some a few of the shells have sunk to the bottom Mm, some of them haven't. He did say with hindsight he probably should have waited until it had cured up quite a bit and then put the shells in, but I actually think they look quite nice as that is. Beautiful crystal clear resin and with the lovely sand effect in the bottom. So then this is the um, soap and or lotion, hand lotion dispenser. 
it's just been sped up a little bit. Taking this mould off for the first time does it exactly the same as he did the other mould. So takes it off like that and then gets to the stage where it's a twist and pull. Twist and pull. There we go. And then carefully covering up and revealing it. Wow, look at the amount of faceting on that mould. Weren't sure how this was going to turn out, but I, I really quite like that look, that effect. And there we go. That's the lid that goes in that one. That lid will actually be secured. You can secure it with, in fact, you can secure both of them with resin or super glue. So this is the lovely little heart, love heart key ring that we made with some of the leftover sand resin and some little shells in there, as you can see. And this is the lovely little bear, which I've nicknamed Butterscotch. <laughs> Butterscotch the bear. He's so cute. And these are the three little bookmarks that we made. So these were still a little bit bendy at this stage. So we just demolded them to show to you. Can you see the power? This power shell shows up so much in those. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. So you can top coat those as well if you want to or just leave them as they are. We will let them cure for another two or three days and then they'll completely harden up finishing them off at the top with a little little gold tassel or something so this is the kit the assembly kit that came with the mold for the um, soap or hand lotion dispenser so you just put the plastic tube into the top screw in the top of the um, container and then you would secure that then to the base using as I said either some clear resin um, or some super glue and then once you want to fill it up with your soap or lotion you just unscrew the top off and you pour it in same thing with the reed diffuser, you screw the top on, secure the top to the belt, to the base, and then you add, um, you can add your uh, essential oils in, or you can put it in a little uh, glass vial if you want, in the bottom, uh, totally up to you, or test tubely type thing, and then place the, the reeds in it. There you go. So here's our final shot of the two things that we made. I think they look absolutely stunning. It will be difficult for me to let them go, but we will be selling these. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And thanks for joining us on this video. We're going to leave you with a few last moments looking at these beautiful um, items that Wayne has uh, made and demonstrated for you. Don't forget, we've got another video going live on um, Sunday afternoon at five o'clock. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.